Hello! In today's historic short, we will be learning about food in the ancient Roman Empire, starting with the discovery of seafood, berries, and nuts. Then we will move to food eaten by the peasants and slaves. After that, food eaten and made by the poor, middle class, and the rich. We will not forget about the soldiers. We will cover everything in just a few minutes like usual. Romans typically ate three meals a day. Breakfast consisted of, a, of bread or a wheat pancake eaten with dates and honey. At midday, or lunch, also known as Cena, they would eat a light meal of fish, cold meat, bread, and vegetables. Cena was the main meal of the day and height of social hour. And it wasn't until much later that Cena was moved later in the day as dinner, and often meals consisted of the previous day's Cena. The first settlers in the Roman area were on the coast and predominantly ate seaweed, shellfish, fish, and figs. Once the Romans established the Roman Empire, their food was based around the four main staples, which included cereals, vegetables, olive oil, and wine. Seafood, cheese, eggs, and meat, and many other types of fruit were also available to those who could afford it. Poor Romans ate cheap because they couldn't afford anything else. Among the food they ate were bread, vegetable soup, porridge, and meat, although a luxury was available if you lived on the countryside, which most poor Romans did. Soldiers almost always ate julian stew, which consisted of two kinds of ground meat, pepper, lovage, fennel, bread, and a wine reduction. This was paid for by the empire, because as long as the soldiers fought, they would eat, and this was an inexpensive way to pay their warriors. Most Roman food was eaten with spoons made out of bone, wood, and occasionally bronze, unless you were rich and you may have had silver spoons. Forks had not been used for eating, but for serving, and may not have been invented until much later. The types of bread included libe, which were small rolls, panis primus, which was a cheap coarse grain bread, and panis secundus, which is one step higher than that of panis primus. Some common fruits included almonds, apples, plums, figs, grapes, pomegranates, pears, walnuts, filberts, and chestnuts. Some of the most common meats included beef, sucking pig, snails, boar, mutton, lamb, dormice, kid, and venison. Fish that were available are carp, catfish, clams, crab, eel, flounder, lobsters, perch, oysters, shark, mackerel, and sardines. Poultry accessible included chicken, goose, duck, flamingo, dove, peacock, and pheasants. Meat was very expensive and not easily accessible to peasants. Meat was also commonly boiled instead of cooked with spices and grilled, or seared. Common vegetables were artichokes, asparagus, beans, beets, broccoli, cabbages, cucumber, leeks, garlic, lentils, lettuce, mallow leaves, marrows, melons, mushrooms, olives, onions, parsnips, peas, pumpkins, radishes, and turnips. And some common drinks to wash it all down included calda, which was typically a winter drink, which consisted of warm water and wine laced with spices, Another drink was mulsum, which is a honeyed wine, posca, vinegar mixed with enough water to make it drinkable, which was drinking by soldiers, and wine, which was watered down wine because Romans never drank straight wine. There were three meals in ancient Rome. We had yentaculum, which was breakfast, prandium, which would be modern day it's lunch, although it was different, and I will explain this in a minute, and then cena, or coina, if you want to use classical pronunciation with detached diphthongs, which would be dinner. Let's examine all these in details. Now, yentaculum, the first thing we have to say about yentaculum is that it began with a glass of water. So this is something the Romans used to do. Now, as they would drink this glass of water, they would begin eating. Now, what was the yentaculum made of? Well, we have quite a lot of possibilities, so let's examine all of these. Well, first of all, one very common possibility in, in the times of Rome was to eat the leftovers of dinner, in which case we would have bread, cheese, olives, and honey. Another kind of breakfast was to dunk bread into sweetened wine. So this was another one, another way to have breakfast. And thirdly, was to eat bread with oil, vinegar and salt. Now, on about this very last one, I'd like to say that, for example, this is something that in modern day Italy we still do. As a matter of fact, in my family, we eat bread with oil, vinegar and salt um, quite a lot. I know that we've been doing this as long as I can remember, so... Um, it's something that my mother used to do, my grandmother used to do, and, and, and we can go f go on, I think, all the way down to the times of, of the Romans. So this is a tradition that we kept. And it's something that is very simple to make. So if you have never tried this and you want to eat like a Roman, then you should try this one out.
Another typical kind of breakfast was bread and figs. Now, children ate differently. Normally, they would just have breakfast or yentaculum with bread and milk. Pran